Hello beauties, welcome back. I have another unboxing today. This is my Glow Addict unboxing. And we need to discuss Glow Addict because there was a, a snafu, we'll call it. So I am currently, I have one box for both January and February. I'm hoping this is my January box. I'm hoping my February box is still on the way. I don't know though. I'm, I'm, if I had to guess, this would be my February box and my January box is not coming. What happened was, when we were in the middle of moving and I really wasn't thinking about filming and I was just, you know, boxes were coming to my parents' house and my mom was like, you got this one came, this one came. Towards the end of January, I get an email from Glow Addict saying, we're so sorry, people who have a year long subscription, a glitch when we transferred our system, because I think they, they took up like a new system. They said a glitch happened and basically the boxes didn't ship out to you guys. So we're going to send out your box and it should be there soon. So I got a shipping notification for that one right away. And I really did, like, I was hadn't even realized. And I was like, oh, I guess I haven't gotten that one yet. Or mom hasn't said that one's come yet. So, okay, whatever. And then several days later, I got notification that my February box shipped. So I said, okay, well, it's okay. This one showed up like a week or a week and a half ago to my mom's house. And I still haven't gotten a second one. So I don't know if this is January's or February's or if February's is still coming. I don't know. We're just gonna open it up and see. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what to do from here if I'm missing a box. Um, I figured I'd give it to the end of, of February, although like we're the, the 20th now, so it, sh it should be here. All right. So theory is I have this, it's this free gift. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It looks like I love that they did this, but it just, I pull it out and it like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like the fact that it's like handwritten. It's just so funny to me. I don't, I don't know why. I feel like it's like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to put it where it doesn't sound like I, I, judgmental because I'm not being judged. I'm not trying to be judgmental. It's just really funny. It's just like the way I, I opened it up and it was like free gift. And I was like, this feels like, like a drug deal or something. I don't know. It's very weird. I don't know. Very weird. The handwritten note just threw me off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, I'm guessing this is actually probably is January's and this is probably like their apology for like, sorry that it took till February day to get it, which means hopefully my February one will be there shortly. Um, but this is a uh, an argan oil lip gloss. Pretty, and it's like a full size too, so pretty decent. I accept, I accept that apology. All right, what do we got? What do we got going on in here? Let's see, let us see. Pulling it all out, we're just gonna take a look. So the first thing we have here is a Macaroon Obsessions palette. It is green, I love it. I think it's precious, so cute. Wanna see what it looks like outside of the box. And the brand is US Colors, looks like. I am just getting like super hard St. Patrick's Day vibes. It really is reminding me of like the Huda Beauty, like Obsessions collection. Um, like that's the vibe that it's given off to me. Super cute though, love it. Actually feeling the case and then opening up and seeing the colors without the green tint to it, it actually is reminding me of the Makeup Revolution nine pan palettes that I got a while back hoping they would be a dupe for the Huda Beauty ones and decided like they are not. Um, but these are, that's very similar to this. Like that's the same vibe I got. In fact, I kind of want to pull out the other and compare it, but it's super cute, really like it. Okay, so I'm interested, let's see. So these are lashes from Zola Lashes. They always, Glow Attic pretty much always send us lashes. They're really long, beautiful lashes, but they also sent me a Zola Lashes Magic Eyeliner and I'm trying to figure out if it's the magnetic one. Like if this is like the, if it's a mag, it doesn't look magnetic, but then again, like I've no, I do they look magnetic? I don't know. So I'm interested. It doesn't say anyway. So I was trying to read on the box. I was trying to read on the thing. It doesn't say, I don't know. I guess I could always just put on liner and then see if they stick. It's probably, the, <laughs> probably be the best, the easiest way to test that. Do you stick? If they don't, then it's not magnetic. But cool, I like, and I do like that they did like the duo of it. That's, it's cool, it's cute, it's cute. Next thing we got is a Glam Queen Mascara from Ruby May. I gotta unbox it, gotta open it up, try and figure out what this, I, what this looks like. You know, I gotta be honest, Glow Addict is one of those, like they're, they've got some months that I feel like they're really strong and then they've got some months that I feel like they're really weak. This is one of the weaker months I've seen. I do like the little eyeshadow palette. It's not a super expensive subscription box. I don't think, I think it's like $18 or something like that. And then you have to pay for shipping. So it winds up being like 20 bucks, but definitely comparatively, like if you can get BoxyCharm or Ipsy Plus for $25, this one definitely kind of falls short if I'm being honest. Okay, interesting. So first of all, just the packaging of it, 
like just a unique shape, unique vibe to it. And then you open it up and it's like a really thin, kind of like hard bristled mascara wand. So I'm interested to see like if it, if the formula will allow it to do what I think the brush is kind of designed to do, which is kind of like lift and separate. Unfortunately, you know, formula can be very detrimental. So I'd have to test it out before I can be like, oh, I think this is gonna be a nice one. I have hopes for it. As long as the formula works right, then I think it would be probably a really nice, like non clumping mascara. All right, final product we have is the Beauty Creations Pro Matte Setting Spray. I threw it, but I caught it, but I threw it. <laughs> Decent size, uh, pretty good for like traveling, like a nice little, like definitely can fit in like a go bag. Um, doesn't take up too much room, but gives you a good amount of product in there. So yeah, um, hopefully my February box would come. I'm going with the fact that this is in fact January's. Uh, it was, it was kind of nice to see them like be proactive and like reach out and be like, so sorry this happened. You know, here we're, we're fixing it. And literally the next day after they emailed me like, hey, your box is shipping out soon. I got my email notification that it's shipping out. I don't know where February says, cause like I said, February shipped out right after January. So you would, it would think it would be here right around the same time. But as far as I'm concerned, I, it, it still hasn't shown up to my parents' house. So what are you gonna do? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. We'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with a dark twist.